West Virginia, here we come. What's up, what's up? Yes. We're going to West Virginia. We got two trucks, lots of quads, ATVs, side by sides, all kind of cool toys. We're doing a shoot with Sedona tires Tuesday to Thursday. That's why we got a bunch of tires on the trailer. I've already had people asking me questions on Facebook. Why so many tires, mm -hmm. Fisher? Everybody thinks we blow tires. No, nope. we, we gotta blow put them all to the test. We're, we're doing a big photo we're shoot. It's test. gonna be awesome. And then Friday and Saturday, June Jam. June Jam. Which yes. Saturday, we have a cornhole tournament. Tyler and I are entered in. Got our own jerseys. It's going to be bad to the bone. Yep. And if we don't win, they cheated. Oh, they definitely cheated. We're definitely we're taking first place. But if we don't, it's because they cheated. Yep. Guaranteed. But we got to get going. Yeah, we, we got to go. go. We're going to West Virginia ATV Rentals to see my boy Rick Bailey. He's got an awesome place. It's going to be a blast. We'll see you in West Virginia. Peace. Here we go, y'all. We are day one of a week-long shoot here in Hatfield McCoy Trail Country. We're currently staying at West Virginia ATV Rentals and Resort. And uh, we're waiting on our friends from Sedona Tire to get here. And we're going to go out and hit the trails. Got some photos and videos we want to get. Doing all kind of cool stuff. We're going to take you guys along show you behind-the-scenes look at what a photo video shoot looks like for the commercial advertising side of the industry. It's pretty interesting. I think you're going to enjoy it. They even rented the minivan. Our friends, ladies and gentlemen, from Sedona Tire and Wheel. They are finally here. They said they would be here at 10, 1030, 1045, 11. It is 1126. Wouldn't expect anything less. Here we go. It's going to be a good day. We're going to get them mounted up and we're going to go ride. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, man? Behind the scenes action here. Got a little behind the scenes for the uh, Sedona shoot. It's all fun and games. Richard just splashed Shannon big time, man. Got her good. Here we go. Here we go. Coming back. So, as some of you guys know, whenever we're out filming, doing shoots and stuff, this is what we get to do. You guys think we live the dream, this is how it is. Look at this. Richard's on standby, waiting for the call. We got, walking around, I mean, it's, it's, it's. Oh, the radio. Radio get you in trouble though, so be careful. Watch words on the radio, we're filming over here. Good times though, this is what's happening. All clear, all clear, we are good to go. Here Richard goes. Richard coming through. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. We got mom down here filming. I'm just trying to stay out of the shot here. More camera setups. Got mom down there filming. Hey, Jerome. Hey, oh, what's up? See, people think we're living a dream here. Oh, we are living a dream. Are we living a dream? Oh, yeah. Look at you. <laughs> 
I'm all clear. I think he's having fun. I got tore up. He is. He's having a good time. He is. We got camera people all throughout the woods. Here we go. Coming in hot. Ooh, I got some stuff on the limbs there. Mm-hmm. So listen, camera guy 101. Whenever you're filming on a trail, anybody can lose control at any time. Always have something you can hide behind. Always have something. He's behind a tree. See that? She's behind trees. Always have something that's going to accept most of the blow of the side-by-side -side or ATV is coming at you because you never know when they're going to lose control. You make it look like there's no tree in the shot, but you're always close to a rock or something that's going to absorb all the impacts so that way your body doesn't do it. Camera guy 101. That's what do you got on there? Slick. Oh, you got the coyotes on there. You got the coyotes? Oh, yeah. I was letting them howl. What were, you what were you telling Richard? I was coming through that corner up there. It was pretty slick. Oh, These tires stuck. They, they were right on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was uh, <laughs> pretty happy because there was a nice tree there. <laughs> so I was good. It, it just hung right in that corner though. Is that the first time you ever ran them coyotes? I've never run coyotes before. This is the first trip with coyotes and I like them. I love them. They're awesome. They remind me a lot of the rockabillies, but man, they just got some good tread. They ride good. They're just, uh, they just have a good feel to them. They don't feel out of control, washy. They feel uh, predictable. And that's the biggest thing with the tire that I like on a trail like this. I mean, this is a really, really slick trail. Yeah, when you get a little bit of moisture on a hard packed trail, things get out of control. And it takes a really good tire to stick and hang with it. And uh, the coyotes did really good. I was impressed. I was uh, wondering, coming through that corner, I kept going a little bit faster, a little bit faster. I kept pushing it a little bit more. And that one time I really pushed it and it hung right to it. So, you know, it's, it's not always necessarily the tire but it's matching that tire with your machine uh, this is a 28 inch coyote and it's the perfect size for this machine sometimes you get tires that are too big and the machine can't handle it and maybe you get too much air pressure in them and next thing you know you're skating all over the place so knowing what tire to pick out for your machine the proper tire pressure and how to drive with it makes all the difference in a bill into the town of Bramwell. We're going to go to the little corner soda shop down here, ice cream shop, whatever you want to call it. We're going to go down here and get some lunch. Maybe it'll quit raining or maybe it'll get worse. Oh man, I got a hot dog Sunday. This is it right here. This stuff is delicious. What's up, y'all? We uh, waited, well, I guess we didn't wait out to rain. It's still raining. We're here at the corner shop in Bramwell, and the food is excellent. If you ever get to this part of town and you do not stop here, you are making a huge mistake. The burgers, yeah, they're hand padded and they're delicious. The ice cream, homemade, it's delicious too. Gotta stop here, right there. The corner shop, stop, get yourself some grub, then you can continue your trail ride. Today we're riding the Pocahontas Trail and it is soupy. This trail has a lot of wet parts on it ordinarily, but man, today it's been downpouring. So there's one good thing about all this is there's no dust and there's a lot of mud. So it's been a good ride so far. We've got the Sedona team out here with us and we've been testing a bunch of different tires. We've been getting photos, video. It's been a good time for them. They've never been out of Idaho and shot anything for side-by-sides or anything like that. So to be able to come here and see all this lush green, it's totally different because they're used to seeing things in the desert. So you know when you're on the west coast and you come here to the east coast and you get to see this beautiful lush green vegetation, it's, uh, it changes the riding experience.
going out riding today. We are back with the Sedona crew. Today's their last day. We got to get this done because they got to get to the airport and catch a flight out. So we got to make things happen. And we're going to go out and get some cool drone shots today, maybe, if the clouds all burn off and it clears up here. Yesterday it poured down raining on us. I mean, we got soaked, but we still got some great riding in. It was a good day on the trails. I guess you can't complain. Even a rainy day on the trails, better than a sunny day in the office. What's up, buddy? Don't you throw that eyebrow up in the air at me. <laughs> you waiting on your, your rider? I'm just waiting on old Jerome here. He's duct taping up his frog togs. Get this, get this pelican case in here so that way we can rock. What's he saying? He's, he's, a, he, he's a dirty driver. He he takes his time and cleans up his camera bag every time we go out. He had this this thing was brand new whenever we showed up. It actually looks pretty good now. He did a good job cleaning it. It was dirty. <laughs> trash. It's dirty, but he wants to keep it clean, so I don't I don't understand that at all. Well, y'all, thanks a lot for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this show, and we had a blast getting the Sedona crew out here and seeing their faces when they finally got a chance to get to the East Coast and see some of this lush green vegetation on the Hatfield-McCoy Trail. We all had a good time. I hope you enjoyed the show. Until next time, ride on and keep it real. Ready to hit the trail again? Ready to hit the trail. There's T-Fish. T-Fish, Every single person with us took a crap in that bathroom. I just went in there to take a pee and it is decimated in there. It's decimated. Actually, I, I didn't. I, I just did a 10-100, number one. But when I went in there, it was bad. Oh, shit, <laughs> sorry. I got it. It was stuck in my hitch. It looked like a tree. In my tube. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I was backing over everything, dude. <laughs> when I got to a certain spot there, I just backed up into everything so you guys could get by. Especially up on that trail where it was real like tight. Oh, yeah. oh I was backing in I was backing into a dead tree there. We're just out here, West Virginia. It's, uh, it's raining. A little muddy. What do you and got on up? This here is a 2019 frog togs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they rain, holding rain together? Suit. Huh? They're holding together nice? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You know, just uh, <laughs> they were black well holes, what they call it. They were welded together, weren't they? This, you can tell these weren't American made. <laughs> <laughs> why, is Richard, why is Richard think he can do that? I don't know, why does he think that? Why don't you answer that question? He's got the same exact machine, same amount of horses under the hood. I Hold actually have more weight way. on mine. Get it out of the way. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Fill it up again. <laughs> again. Do it again. Yeah, I got 30. What do you got? 28? 28. 28. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. I got, it's the tires. That's what it is. He's got 38 inch tires. Yep. I got 30 30s, he got 28. Yep. It weight, better roll on. weight, all that comes into play about it, man. Yeah. Their spring out of that side wall just really popular. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the only thing Richard has to run on is his old glory days about how good he was racing. <laughs> That's all I got. Man, when I was living on the road racing, boy, I was awesome. I'm living it.
<laughs> Living it. I don't know. It's always competition, no matter what we do. Competition. Hey, Matt, what are you doing over there? Who did it bigger? Matt's taking a poop. Check the depth of the soil. <laughs> <laughs>